What up, campers? This is Jordan from Why We Work, and this week we've got something a little different. We are back in the USA, but while we were out in South Africa, we caught a lot of footage of some super killer RVs, the way the South Africans do it, which are super small, ultra lightweight, and I think that America could definitely take a play out of the South African book when it comes to RVing, especially folks who are a little bit uh, intimidated by big travel trailers. And if you guys stick around till the end of the video, we got a super cool surprise. We found that uh, one of our friends here in America is actually making these kinds of trailers, and we can tell you a little bit about theirs and where you might find one if that seems like something that would be up your alley. So uh, take a minute, subscribe to our channel, and we'll show you all the crazy RVs that we saw overseas. I decided to make an RV tour South Africa edition where we kind of show you guys some of the setups that we've seen out here and I really think the Americans could uh, I almost got hit by a car right there walking through this parking lot but uh, I really think that the Americans could take a few cues from the South Africans in terms of um, camping and towing and small trailers I think there's a lot of people in America who don't have a lot of towing capacity and don't want to go buy a fifty, sixty thousand dollar diesel truck um, but they could mob easily in any one of these setups that we've seen even with just a like a station wagon or a small SUV so uh, yeah we need to get on this but let's check them out because there's a lot of cool ones. These South Africans really have RVing figured out. Here's another little trailer. And they've got all their bikes up top and I'm assuming that's all their storage for their camping in there. But uh, I think us Americans could really take a couple of plays out of this book with the way that they camp and RV. They really maximize the amount of stuff they can cram into a small space and they also minimize by only bringing what really counts. So. Uh, yeah, here's another one. Oh my gosh, and here's a different one. We haven't seen one like this yet. But this one looks very cool. This is an off-road caravan. Bush Lapa. Wow. I'm guessing that's a kitchen or something that pops out there. He's got his crank hitch. It looks like they've got some rigging for a tent to fold out of there. Lots of nice storage up front. Tons of clearance so they can take it down some super dusty dirt roads. We could definitely use one of these in America. America, you are sleeping. Get on these. Look, they've got all these water hookups and stuff out here too. Is this yours? Sorry, I'm, not, I'm just, we're just looking. Super cool. Little water hookup. One of these must be a kitchen and then the other one's probably like a cold box or something. And then I'm guessing this is the tent that folds down. Wow pretty epic. And here's a Town & Country 300. Another one. These are seem to be the popular types of setup. So they've got a rack on top too. It looks like they could throw some bikes up there if they wanted. I am really digging these. And here's another one. This one's a little bit bigger than the previous, so they've got everything inside. Then they're towing it with the big old van. Got that spare tire on there. I don't know what those metal poles are, but 
Very cool. I'm in love with these things. Super cool trailers. And here's a totally different type of setup. This guy's got a Baki, and it looks like he's got his tent and stuff mounted on top, and I bet you it folds down similar to Olivine. So you can see he's got his whole camper shell, and they're hitting the road. But they, uh, they come in a lot of different flavors, but they really seem to make the most out of what they got. Continuing the RV tour, here's some actual campers in action. So you can see that those little trailers house nice big tent units that they put up right on the beach here. And then a little bit further down, we've got a real honest to God, what they would call a caravan, which is similar to ours, like a hard sided trailer with some fold down units and there she blows. So yeah. When we thought we weren't going to be doing much in the way of RV, we've got tons and tons of awesome new RV content. I love the way they camp here. Look what we have here. A South African RV. Super cool. This top part folds out into a tent and it hangs off the back here. And then each one of these little compartments opens up for a different kind of utility feature kitchen. Here's the kitchen that slides out, coolers and stuff. Some of these have stoves in there. They're pulling it with a car that's very similar to ours. Man, I'm absolutely in love with this. Where are these things at in America? We would eat these alive. This thing's awesome. It's a Jurgens Safari unit. And I'm guessing this is like front storage. And then again on this side, see if we can't get the exposure right here. Look at that. This thing is awesome. We could definitely use some rigs like this. There's a lot of people who don't have a lot of towing capacity, but really want to camp and this thing ticks all those boxes. Very, very cool. Last little bit to the RV tour because I found out some extra things from Olivine that we didn't know about before. Down here are two fresh water tanks, 25 liters a piece. And they're underneath each of these little back fenders. And then also he's got hookups here um, for gas cans. So you can bring extra propane or regular fuel and they clip on two five gallon containers onto the sides of the racks here. And then the last thing that he has, which is super cool, is these guys, these Jurgens, more gas cans. So he said this time they're gonna be on hookups most of the time, so he's only bringing two gas cans, so one on that side and there's one over there on the other side, but he has the option to add four. So it's a pretty freaking sweet setup, man. It's all runoff big marine batteries just like our RVs back at home so uh yeah we're a big fan So we've saved the absolute best for last. This is Nadia's Ulm, Ulm Willems trailer. It's an outplay. Very nice setup. He's got the big off-road tires with plenty of clearance. Each one of these compartments has a special purpose. The four by four wheels, right? Yeah. It just pops out, folds yeah. out. The hinges are this side, right? Uh -huh. So they are very good. And this thing is big and it's like a boot. Yeah. See, that you can put a lot of stuff on oh, top. Oh, nice. There's the hinges. Oh, yeah. See, there's three, three, three bolts. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it goes it's like and a this, and this one is double folded. Right, so it folds open. Uh -huh. And then the last one, it's got a section that goes like that again. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's about this one. Your tent. Okay. 
Yeah, it's then, like the whole width of the thing. Photograph, photograph. Yeah. And then, so it's your tent, and the tent, the, the ground sheet, or the bottom can zip off. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's a lot of space in here. You know, oh, yeah. clothes and stuff. So, and there's your power points. So we, oh, nice. we plug it in. All the camps oh, have yeah. got 220 power. Yeah. Uh, we've got 220. You got hookups so you can. So you plug it in here. The power in the front, oh. what you have. There's a box on that side. This is oh where the fridge gosh. comes. Oh my gosh. Wow. So that the whole thing pulls Passes out all the way through. For, for, for the fridge. This is where your battery normally comes. Okay. Yeah. Your charger. There's my bride. Oh yeah. Yeah. So bride, you pop that out. Yeah. Barbecuing. Yeah. Here I put my bicycle upside oh my down. Gosh. So that side, all the kitchen stuff, the gas bottle, oh. right? I wish we had these things. You might need lovely. to start, a, start an American company doing these or something. Yeah. There would be such a huge demand for these in America, I think. This is your kitchen stuff. Nice. <laughs> the South African RVs. I think it's a real way that we can make camping accessible to the masses and that's what it's all about, right? Getting out there, living, experiencing and appreciating all that life has to offer. Randomly and unrelated, we found that our friend is now part owner of a company called Tough Stuff RVs and they're basically doing exactly the same thing that we saw out in South Africa. They have some super rugged, RV campers that have the folding out tents and all the built-in kitchen stuff and um, they look super awesome because you can tow them behind practically any vehicle that you have. There's no need to upgrade if you've got a small SUV or a Jeep or uh, I think we're even going to try and take one out in my buddy's Subaru because I think that they're really lightweight, ultra durable and, and they even sent us over a video of somebody towing one up some super rugged terrain, do some boondock camping in places that you can't normally go, especially not if you got a big travel trailer. And I think there's a lot of folks who don't want one of those anyway. And so take a look at their RV. And if you want to check them out, they're at toughstuff4x4.com. And again, this is not paid. We just think they're really cool and might give you guys a chance to make that leap into camping. And until then, make sure to click that like button, give us a, a big thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.